And so I went downtown and I pulled, I pulled the mortgage on my property and I went down and I saw her and I gave it to her and I said, can you prepare a satisfaction of mortgage for this? You're seriously going to do this? I go, absolutely. What ended up happening was I, I bought this one house and I was living in an apartment complex and I was renovating the house and, and, and I was renovating it. And I remember I needed to borrow more money on the house. Like I'm dumping a ton of money in this house. It had a, it was a four, had a four car garage. It had two apartments. It had a one bedroom that was a one bedroom apartment. That was 2,200 square feet. Like that's a huge, that's a huge one bedroom. Hardwood floors. I mean, I was just decking this thing out. And I, at one point, I needed more money, and I had been. I started dating this other chick named uh, Connie, Wick, and she was a manager of a lawyer's title on in Tampa. I remember she told me we were laying in bed, and she she said she started laughing, and I was like, "What?" Because she knew I'd been indicted, and I was already on federal probation. And she said, um, "God." She remembered. She's like, "I remember when we got subpoenas for your stuff." before you got in trouble, like the FBI came in and subpoenaed your stuff. And like, we were all like freaking out, like, oh my gosh. And all the girls at her work started calling me Darth Vader. And when they were, she was like, they were free. They were like, you're going out with Darth Vader tonight. And, and she was like, oh, he's not that bad. They were like, I'm telling you, he'll pull you over to the dark side. Like this guy's doing all kinds of fraud. Um, and we were laying in bed and she was laughing about it. And I said, you know, it's funny that you say that. I said, I have a question for you. And she goes, what's that? I said, I bought this piece of property for about 80 grand. I've dumped a hundred and something thousand in it. I need to borrow some more money on the property. How can I borrow more money on that property when I think it's only going to appraise for a couple hundred thousand? And she looked at me and she was like, well, I don't know. Um, what do you owe on it? I was like, well, you know, I, I owed a couple hundred thousand. I said, but I need to borrow more money. How can I? I said, how does the lender know that there's a mortgage on the property? And she was like, well, I mean, they pull, they pull the title work. They have, she goes, they have us pull the title work. And when we go downtown, if the mortgage shows up, I go, yeah, but when the mortgage, how do I get rid of a mortgage so they don't see it? And she went, well, I mean, when a mortgage is paid off, it's satisfied. And I went, well, how do they know it's satisfied? She goes, well, because the bank, when the bank gets paid, they send a, this one-page document that says it's a satisfaction of mortgage. Like it says that the mortgage that was taken out by this person on this date for this amount and, record, and recorded in the official record book on this page with this instrument number is hereby satisfied like the person paid us. She goes, and then it's notarized and the, the president of the bank or somebody signs it. And I go, what happens to that document? And she goes, well, it's typically mailed back to the, um, you know, to the bank to show it was recorded. And I'm like, okay, who, how do they know where to mail it though? And she goes, well, cause they say in the upper left-hand corner, like, Hey, it was prepared by bank of America. And when it's after it's recorded, mail it back to bank of America to this address. And I goes, one address. And she goes, well, no, there's bank of America's everywhere. I mean, who knows? It could be any number of addresses. And I went, okay, so let me get this straight. You're telling me that I, if I fill out a one-page document with the correct information on it, I can get public records to record it in public records to show that, the, that a mortgage that's currently recorded in public records was satisfied. I can then have it mailed back to an address that isn't necessarily even the bank's address. And when you go to search it, you're going to see the original mortgage and a satisfaction, and you're going to list on the title, you're going to list that there is no mortgage on the property. She goes, right, because I there's a satisfaction saying Bank of America paid it off. I go, even though they didn't. She goes, right. And I said, okay, so Bank of, she goes, as long as you keep making your mortgage payment, Bank of America doesn't realize that you that they no longer have a lien on the property. They think it's still there. They didn't get a, sat a satisfaction. Of course, if they got the satisfaction, they'd realize right away, we didn't satisfy this. But that doesn't happen. So, okay. So I was like, okay, cool. And so I went downtown and I pulled, I pulled the mortgage on my property. And I went down and I saw her and I gave it to her. And I said, can you prepare a satisfaction of mortgage for this? And she was like, holy shit, you're seriously going to do this? I go, absolutely. And she said, I mean, I can show you, I can fill one out, but I'm not going to notarize it. And I went, that's fine. I said, I can, I can get a notary. 
I had already called like Office Depot, um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Staples. I'd already called several comp- several places, and I'd ordered notary stamps in different names. And so I pay for the stamp. I go in. I, I didn't call. I went in. I I filled out the paperwork. This is my here's my name. Here's my notary number. Here's this. Here's that. Here's when it expires. And I said I need a stamp. And then they would order it. And then I would just, they'd call you a couple days later, or I'd just go in a couple days later, and I'd say, hey, is my stamp here? And they'd go, sure, and they'd give it to me. They wouldn't ask for ID or anything. I had one place, I had like four or five places I ordered stamps from. One place asked me, the guy goes, do you have, a, you have your ID? And I was like, nah, bro. I mean, I came in here a couple days ago. He goes, yeah, well, I need your ID. I said, I don't have it on me. He goes, yeah, man. Uh, I said, well, I'll go get it, and I'll come back. He goes, okay. So I left. I got his name. I left, and I called down there and said, hey, when is this guy you know, is this guy there? And they said, uh, yeah, he's there. I called a little bit later and they said, oh no, he's off. He already left for the day. Okay, great. So then I went back in to the next person that was there and I said, Hey, I need my notary stamp. And they didn't ask for an ID and they gave me the notary stamp. So I end up with multiple notary stamps. And I, I just, once Connie filled out the, showed me how to do the satisfaction and she filled it out. I notarized it. I signed, signed it, went downtown and recorded it. I had it mailed to an abandoned house. Instead of mailed back to the, the the mortgage company who had lent me the money, I just had it mailed to an abandoned house. So a couple days later, I drive by there, boom, I got the, I've got it. So now when I went to go borrow more money and the title company pulled the title on the house that I was using as collateral to borrow the money, there's no mortgage showing up. So I borrow another $175,000 or something like that on that house. It was worth maybe 200000 at the time. 